from CatherinePooler.com. I am excited to share today's video. Actually, it's kind of funny because I look back and I realized I never did share this one with you and I filmed it at the beginning of the summer. What? <laughs> it was early in the summer when the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers were new to me, so you'll see me stumble over all of those words that are in that name. <laughs> And I it based it on one of the mood boards from the In The Mood class, which is one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love that class. The design team was like all in like crazy stampers because they were so inspired by the mood boards. So this is one inspired by mood boards. I also made several cards based on the same kind of design elements in this card. I did the twisted inlay die cut card earlier, like a month or so ago. I did a newsletter project, which is going to come out soon. If you're not on that newsletter, katherinepuller.com to get on, you get tons of exclusive projects that I don't share anywhere else. And yeah, that's it. All right, let's kick off this Monday with a fun tutorial. I was just working on a few cards. One was based on a mood board from our new In The Mood class. And when I, I actually was cleaning up to go do something else. And when I walked by my stamp table, I noticed these two circles sitting there and I was suddenly inspired. So I sat down to stamp some more. <laughs> So I'm using the stamp by the ton and I'm going to gold emboss it. So I'm just going to stamp a few of these. Maybe just two. Maybe I'll do three. I think three will be good. And the colors in the mood board are black, gold, white, a tiny bit of red accent in there. And it's very a very geometric mood board. So there's circles and chevrons and stripes. So we'll just emboss these real quick. So I've been playing with my Zig Real, let's say Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers a lot lately. And today is no different. So I'm just very, very simply just gonna scribble on some color here. No rhyme or reason to this, just, just laying down some color. I think I'm gonna put a little pink in there too. I don't want this to be all dark red. And by the way, I'm using Canson watercolor paper. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my spray bottle and just spray it. And then I'm gonna let it sit and dry. I didn't really let it dry very long. I kind of mopped up some color and then I used my heat tool to heat some more because it's too pink. I want this to be more red. So I wanted to hurry it along a little so that I could add more color on here. So it's not 100% dry, that's okay. I'm just gonna add some more color and then I'm gonna spritz it again and hopefully I'll get a more red rather than pink. There we go, yes. That is more what I was looking for. All right, so now I will let this dry. Well, maybe I'll mop up some, <laughs> some of that first. All right, we'll let that dry. So my technique piece finished drying and I cut it out and now I'm just playing with placement for these circles. And I just kind of plopped them on my paper and I really liked the positioning of them. So I'm going with it. <laughs> we'll get some adhesive on all these pieces and then I'll figure out where my greeting is gonna go. Oh, this. The black one goes first. I had this piece glued down and then I decided I wanted it to pop up on dimensional adhesive. So I just pulled it up and now I'm gonna position it right over where it was stuck the first time and now it has dimension and I like that a lot. So I have this set by the ton and I think I'm gonna do, thanks a bunch. I'm gonna position this where I want it to go. Well, hold on, it's not quite, well, it's just barely fitting. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up with a block all at once and then I'll be able to stamp it. We'll do Versamark and gold embossing. I'll just add my deactivator tool first so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to places I don't want it to. And then thanks a bunch. So did you guys see that coming? <laughs> 
I had glue like all over here from when I first put this on. So when I put the embossing powder on, it stuck all over the place. So I decided just to emboss on black and adhere that right to the card. So one last little finishing touch, some sequins, the peekaboo sequin, gold, clear, and a couple different sizes. So when you guys are creating, I recommend don't throw all your little pieces away. You can see, oh my gosh, look at this. I have a giant stack of things on my desk that I've been working on and never threw away, just kind of keep there. And then I have another little basket on my shelf and that is full, like full, like seriously, like to the rim of discards and I can't seem to get rid of them. So one day I'm just gonna have to sit down and go through and just get inspired and make cards out of those. So leave me a note, let me know if you've ever worked off a mood board. If you leave your little leftovers laying around and you like to incorporate them when you can into cards and what you think of the Zig watercolor, uh, Zig clear, <laughs> let's see, Zig clean color real brush markers. How about that? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe to my class and check out In the Mood if you're looking for inspiration. All right, I will see you again soon.